Hello everyone, I am Garrett Oakamber, and today I am going to show you a game called Seven Days to Die. This game is pretty much unheard of. Um, I literally heard of it a couple months ago, uh, just searching around the internet, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, that's amazing, it's just like Minecraft, only, only focused on the zombie survival. Zombies in Minecraft were pretty easy to avoid, as a matter of fact, everything was easy to avoid. You could pretty much build a bastion of safety in that game, which nothing could hurt you. Kind of ruining the uh, whole survival aspect of the game, once you had everything set down. Anyways, this game is completely a, a similar sandbox feature, you know, kind of featurette, but it's completely different in, in the sense that there is no safe place. You can do everything in your power to try to save yourself, and short of digging yourself a really long maze that King Minos would be proud of, you're not going to be safe. Like, zombies can burst through walls, and it, it, it's not just about that. If you're looking at the, the stuff here in this film that is going on right now, these are all from the Fun Pimps. They're the, they're the developers of the game. Um, you can check up their site. You can check up everything. This game has so many more features. You can hunt. You can cut down trees. You can craft weapons. There is so much you can do. Many of the pictures you're seeing, by the way, are pre-pre-alpha. Like, right now, this is still being developed. The game is scheduled to come out as a pre-alpha release sometime later this month, or um, in, the, in a little bit in the future. Um, probably, like, August or so. Hopefully. The full game release is scheduled to come around next year, possibly around March, or the same as this, you know, this month. Um, this game has so many features. Please support this game. The Kickstarter page and info is in the description below. What more can I say about this game other than that I'm completely blown away at the progress it's made in such a short amount of time? Um, it's just you can build, you can survive, almost like any good hunting game, which to say there's very few of those. It has a very War Z kind of feeling to it, only like Minecraft, and at the same time it has all the RPG elements you'd want in a game. I almost overlooked this game when I first saw it, and it's just, it's, it's really what the game can do, the potential of the game, that makes it great. I also recommend games like Star Made. Looks like shit at first, but, the, but these new games, these new voxel games are phenomenal. It's what they're capable of that makes them great. Um, as you can see, you can blow up environments, you can construct out of anything you've picked up, you can search, you can upgrade weapons, you can make new weapons, there's even high-tech weapons, this takes place sometime in the future, so you go from nothing to a great survivalist. There's even multiplayer, so yeah, support this game, visit the Kickstarter, support the Steam Greenlight, vote yes, this game is going to be amazing when it's finally finished. I cannot wait for it, and I'm hoping you can either. The Kickstarter is going to last for 30 days. Um, I believe they started yesterday, so please get on top of this now. $35 gets you a full access to the game, to the alpha. Thank you. I'm Garrett Oakamber. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and do the same to the Fun Pimps.